Welcome! This is our first video for assembling the Zeus CNC router and today we're going to be looking at assembling the gantry plates. Up first we have the x-axis gantry plate which you can see here. We'll actually tear this down and show the complete build of this. So you've got your NEMA 23 motor, the GT3 timing pulley, you've got the 14 solid V wheels for the x-axis and also for the z-axis, two spacer blocks, and then one of the quick notes here is that you've got the standard spacers that come in the wheel kit on this side and the eccentrics on the three on this side. And then same for the top here, you've got the standard spacers that come with the wheel kits. And on the bottom side here, you've got the eccentrics so that we can actually clamp this to the V-slot rail. And now we will tear this apart and actually show the complete build of this gantry assembly. We now have the x-axis fully disassembled and we'll start building it up. So you want to start with your front x-axis gantry plate, this little x looking fella. And we're going to start by placing the two v-slot spacers on it. So to do this, we'll just line up the holes and you will take the two m 5 by 20s for each of these. And you'll notice on these that you have large holes and small holes. The small holes are threaded for M5s. And you will just bolt these down. And then we've got our spacer blocks on. Next you'll want to take your Acme nut block and insert the two M5 nylocks into the settings there. And this piece will actually be bolted down right to these center peanut slots. You'll take two more M5 by 20s and attach this. So you want to leave a little place so this can slide back and forth. Later on we'll bring the z-axis in and actually center this and lock it down. And we can place this to the side for a second and let's actually take a look at these V-wheel kits and how to assemble these. So you'll notice you have a wheel sleeve, two bearings, a precision shim, precision shim, M5 nylock, quarter inch spacer, and then this M5 by 25 millimeter bolt. These will actually not really be used throughout this build, so you can just set those aside. So the way we assemble these wheels, you will take one of the bearings and press into the sleeve. They should snap in pretty nicely. Then you want to take the precision shim and insert in the center there. Place the next bearing on top. And that will give you your solid V-wheel. It's the same for the extreme wheels. It's also the same for the dual V-wheels. And then in each kit you have a quarter inch spacer as well as an M5 nylock. On some of the parts you won't use those, but you want to keep those because those will be used later on. And for this portion of the build, we have 14 V wheels, so we're going to take a break and I'm going to make the rest of those wheels, and we'll come back. Okay, now that we have our V wheels assembled, we're going to actually attach these six V wheels onto the spacer blocks that will be used to hold the Z axis. For that, you'll need six V wheels, six of the M5 by 45 screws. You will need three of the quarter inch spacers and three eccentric spacers. And then you will need an additional six precision shims. 
So, and we will talk about these here in a second of where these go. So that'll be your material for this part. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll flip this over. You've got your three holes here. Each one needs an M5 by 45. So at this point, it's important to note that you have two different size holes here. You have a small hole and a large hole. The large hole is for the side with the eccentrics. That'll actually let this bolt move around just a little bit and get you a better wheel. So now we've got our six bolts in there. Drop this down and... And now these are actually on the wrong side. So then you'll take your spacers, put a spacer on each one. And then your centrics you'll actually want to put on so that the, you'll notice there is a flat milled out of one side. You will want that flat to be towards the outside. And also make sure that the shoulder of that sits into the spacer block. This is where your precision shims come in. You'll put one shim on each. So what this is doing is actually adding an extra millimeter to the height of these spacers. And then you'll drop a wheel on each. And then once the wheels are on, you'll finish it off with a M5 nylock. And at this point, you want these to roll freely, but not be loose. This one is too loose. This one is just perfect. Wheel rolls freely. And we'll go back and tighten this one up. So then as you go through these, you might notice that the slot has changed, just reach in there with wrench or pair of pliers and rotate that back. So then when you're finished with that, you just want to make sure everything's rolling freely. This nut block is still somewhat loose and can be moved side to side. Back of your plate should look nice, all the heads seated. All the eccentrics, the flats are up, and the shoulders are seated into the spacer blocks. So now we'll take a look at this back plate here. So on this back plate, you want to go ahead and put the motor on. That's pretty simple. You'll take four M5 by 20 millimeter bolts, four M5 nylocks, and four eighth inch spacers. So what's going to happen there is you will have the eighth inch spacer between the motor and the gantry plate. Tighten those up, make sure motor solid, and you're ready to move on from there. So now that we have the front and back X gantry plate ready to go, we're now going to start assembling these together. 
for that you will need quite a few pieces. You've got the four M5 by 65 bolts. You will need four quarter inch spacers that come with your wheel kits. You will need the four 9mm spacers. So these will actually go between the two wheels. So this will be the very center spacer. You'll need four centric spacers. And you will also need eight of the precision shims. So these are hard to pick up. We'll just slide them over here. So you'll start off, you want to go through the front plate with these bolts. To the back plate. Once you have these bolts on here, you can kind of drop them down, they'll hold their own. So on the bottom here, you want to put the two eccentric spacers. Again, you'll want to pay attention to where that flat is. You want that flat to be facing down, and that will keep the wheels separated as far as they can go, which will make putting the gantry plate on later much easier. So you've got the two eccentrics on the bottom. You'll want to do two standard spacers on top. Each one of these will get a precision shim. And each one will get a V-wheel. Now this is where things start to get a little tricky and having extra hands is always helpful. So you want to push up one of these bolts, 9 millimeter spacer. You want the 9 millimeter spacer with no precision shims. Drop that down. We'll drop down another wheel, and if it's a bottom wheel like this one, you'll do a precision shim and a eccentric spacer. So at this point, we are going to cheat and just hold this up. And you'll take, on the other side, 9mm spacer. You'll have your solid V wheel, and you'll put your precision shim. And since this is one of the tops, you want to go with a standard quarter inch spacer. And at this point, you can bring this in. You'll want to make sure that this bottom eccentric is seating into that shoulder. Then you'll take your M5 nylock and just thread those on. In hindsight, it might be easier to do this without the motor on there, but we're going to go ahead and push through. So that will hold this plate up. And then we will do the same thing on this back side. Do your 9mm spacer, followed by your solid V wheel. Followed by your precision shim. Then the eccentric with the flat side down. You want to seat that eccentric. Shove the bolt up through. And cap it off with an M5 nylock. And then move around to the front here where you will do there it is. Your nine millimeter spacer. 
your solid V-wheel, followed by a precision shim, if I can get it off the table. Move around to the front here, and you'll do your 9mm spacer, your solid V-wheel, the precision shim, and if you inch this bolt forward a little bit, it holds everything pretty nicely. And then you finish this one off with the standard quarter inch spacer from the wheel kits. Slide everything to together and cap that off with a M5 nylock. Now we just go through and tighten these down. Again, you want to make sure that the flats of your centrics are staying down towards the bottom here. And you just want to make sure that all the wheels are rolling freely. Then the last piece is to put on the GT3 pulley, which you'll want to slide that on and make sure that one of these set screws lines up with the flat of the motor. To get you close up there, you can see we've rotated the flat to the top. We'll just make sure one of these is towards the top. These set screws go in, by the way. And we will just tighten these a little bit. These will be adjusted later on when we actually put our belts on the entire system. This is mainly just to hold it in place while we get everything set up. So you'll want to make sure that can just move freely back and forth a little bit, but it's not going to fall off. And that completes the X-axis gantry.